Welcome everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing as the Ironmongers led by Juggernaut, who does not like the Brotherhood of Steel, but we shall begin with the remnants of Atis' army. Atis, more than any other mutant, was ambitious. Oh, so very ambitious. And we do have a couple of natural spirits here, including Atis army remnants. Rockery, Rockery infestation, as well as rust from the Great Storm, which will be removed eventually. Also, I do want to let you know that we are using, or I'll tell you the mods we're using after this, but we are on a historical, a historical, so not historical, but a historical, but remnants of the Attis army. Attis was a super mutant without equal, intelligent, cruel, cunning. When the master fell, they led an army east, away from the Brotherhood and growing Californian Republic, hoping to find some answers as to the origin of the FEV. This origin would eventually be found in the city of Los, near somewhere known as the Secret Vault. There ultimately is where he would have met his end, the army, army fracturing slowly into, into several subgroups, which served under them in their army as one of their lieutenants. What did Atis, or Atis value in, his, in us to trust us so highly? Our strategy, our cunning, our loyalty. Now, army XP is nice. Hopefully, we can grab someone here who can give us some more army XP every day. So, I think we'll be okay. Our strategy would not be bad. War support is always pretty good, but stability is pretty darn nice. I think I'm going to go for stability for this one. So, our assignment. The mission he signed us to him was the most important. And, of course, we are a bunch of elites. That is a really awesome portrait of Juggernaut. Really, really awesome. But... Before Atis met his end, he gave us an assignment to follow. He tasked us with taking the southern industrial heartland of Texas and use those arms to help further the super mutant cause. What supplies would he have given us to accomplish this task? Construction equipment or ammunition? Now, currently, the thing about the Iron Mongers is that we are a group of super mutants that love, love, love vehicles, in which we're actually using tanks already, which is extremely rare in the wasteland. So I love it. Uh, we're going to have probably a pretty difficult time against Santa Ana or Santa Ana. Uh, whenever he comes and tries to fight us, it is what it is. But for now, we're okay we're building tanks. We're actually okay building a lot of things, even though we could use more scrap gun trucks. Even though one civilian factory is not going to do a whole lot, let's go with ammo. Let's actually go for a military factory. And accept our legacy. We've accomplished much since his end. And hopefully we can go to war as fast as possible, because I just want to circle and destroy enemies as much as possible for this campaign. But we'll see what happens, our legacy. After we took the southern industrial land, our warband experienced a massive culture change. We went from a band of marauders to a band of smiths, the urge to use the tools we found to build, craft, and experiment with larger and larger tools of war forged to bury identity. A few decades in, and the idea of still following Addis's orders seems so strange. Why listen to the words of a dead man when our life here is so perfect? I will build an empire of iron and silver, in which we get five extra scrap, which is something kind of unique, because most leaders, they don't just get like plus five whatever resources, but that's kind of cool. Should we do meat and scavenging for more construction uh, speed as well as research speed and factory output? The steel steelworks, we gotta go steelworks because we only have two research slots right now. When Juggernaut's war, Ben was given the order from Atis to seize the southern industrial hotbed of Texas. He took that order diligently. It was a simple matter of fighting off those who used to live there, simple raiders and small creatures alike. What those super mutants wouldn't have predicted was just how much they loved the place they took. So much metal, so many tools, and so much fun! The Ironmongers made the steelworks their home and their identity. Yes. And actually, in addition, we're all making some normal uh, Atis army remnants out of super mutants. Normals, just basically super mutant infantry, just because... I don't always want to rely 100% on vehicles because you only have so much energy cells. So, always good to keep that in mind. And the back of our mind. And 30-day focus. I mean, that's that's so good. I love it. Arms workshops. I love it. Rockery infestation. Helped us out a little bit more. Train mantis. Ooh, gear jocks. And these mantis gear jocks are actually, we don't know, uh, are enforcer armor and such. So, good to remember that. Build the perfect war machine. off mat civilian workshop. Mutant infantry, arms workshop. We get a lot more factories. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Green light, green energy. Green energy seems pretty good. Hunt them down. Building slots, get another building slot as well. Loud engines, civvies. I love the civvies. I need to get some arms workshops too, and more tanks. Oh, target practice against a TWA. Border war to take a state. I kind of like that too. Oh, mutant scavenging. I just want to make sure we know what we're doing here first. Construction, research, factory output. Um, Let's go with... What do we want? Uh, that seems like a good idea to get more max factories in a state output. But let's go with b building the perfect war machine. The ironmongers do not pretend, prefer, do not tend prefer fighting on land with a Daka and Chapa. No, and said they prefer the war machines, the battle wagons, 
great treaded vehicles meant to run over their foes with turrets atop their frame for, addition fire, for additional fire support. Few can stand up to a threat so dangerous. I love it. And finally, a third research slot, which is weird to say, because usually we have either three or four, but we start off with only two, which is not very good. But I'm going to grab some gliders, too. So we have tanks, we got some motorized, we've got some APCs, and then we'll have some planes. So we have the super mutants, and the battle wagons actually have motorized on them, which is kind of different. And actually, it's better to put motorized on, motorized on them for now, at least in my opinion, because you get more organization than APCs, because if we did that, we'd actually lose four APCs, four organization, even though we get way more soft attack. So it's kind of a balancing act there. A little more defense, a little more breakthrough, but still, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. We're missing quite a bit of infantry equipment, as well as... Actually, tanks are not too bad, so that's not bad at all. Uh, we have no trade node, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Ohm's Law, thank goodness that is done. Let's go ahead and go get some combat language. I do want to get this stuff as fast as possible. I want to get those extra four factories, so loud engines, shall we? By purposefully making our engines as loud as possible, we can increase the intimidation factor of our army. Who needs stealth when you are working from within a metal, metal frame? Three feet thick nice and we have enough political power all right so what do we want here do we we are elite so do we non-core manpower non division organization supply consumption goes down that's not bad slaving dude wit straight jacket probably white straight jacket uh built tough built different uh no one to give us more political power what is this master smith look at that that is that's very unique i'll say extra scrap tank technology research speed as well as Recruitable population, that's really cool, but that does worry me since we don't get any extra manpower. That is a little worrying. Okay, so, uh, let's do it. Well, that's not bad. Power of Might, not bad. And for our Military High Command, okay. Not bad. This seems pretty generic, though. This one's not bad. I like that one, too. And this one's okay. It's not too bad, either. So, because we're using tanks, um, and I almost never use tanks, we can go down outside of warfare because we're super immune. But because of that, I'm thinking, you know what, we're using tanks already, so how about we go down Mechanized Warfare, in which I'll probably regret this later on, and really start um, complaining a lot, we'll say. Uh, but we'll, let's go down Conventional Warfare. Actually, what if we went down Conventional Warfare, went down to get mobile fortifications, uh, and then went down Mechanized Warfare? Because I still want to think of infantry, even though that will, the mobile fortifications technically do slow you down quite a bit. Hmm... Even if they're support companies, they still slow you down. Which would be good for infantry, but we're really focusing more on our divisions. But, right tool for the job. It's always important to find the right tool for work. Sometimes you need a wrench, sometimes you need a drill. Sometimes you need bits of flesh to lubricate the gears. So actually, mobile fortifications honestly probably aren't worth it, because you don't want to lower your speed too much. But then again, how fast are our wagons? Oh, that's actually not too bad. 7.2 is pretty good, actually. So maybe we won't get mobile fortifications then. Let's just go and grab some motorized flat. I want planes. I want planes, 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 planes. Please, please, please. And eventually we will have to fight these guys, and then some of these guys, and then those guys, and then these guys as well. That's going to be not an easy campaign. This is why I'm making some of these guys too. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, actually, do you have an upgrade? Gun nut. Well, technically, I don't think gun nut for infantry defense really affects super mutants i could be wrong let me know in the comments below if you know if the infantry attack and defense affects super mutants like normal super mutant like you know land like on foot soldiers i don't think they do but i could be very wrong about that i'm not exactly sure so i'm not going to choose that one just yet Nice. And then the battle wagon. A new stockpile of battle wagons has been made. Our enemies will fear us when they see those rolling across the battlefield. Just two free more cities. Oh, there goes carbon. And one will go there. And then more saws. Because we'll need saws for APCs as well. And support equipment. And then we'll get even more guns once all that stuff is done as well. And probably a few more tanks. Because we love tanks here. And what are we on? Yes. Everyone for the war machine? Yes, please. At least for now. Up next, old soldier. I want to go to war as fast as possible. But we're pretty... Uh, actually, what would happen if we actually went to war with these guys early on and beat Santa... Oh, Santa Anna here. Okay. 22 Sims. Oh, we have to wait two years for that? Oh, man. Look at that. Stalking man. I've never seen that head before. Throw the hunt. Sun gods, builder, tribal defense. I should play as this guy and try to hold off against Santa Anna, but we'll see what happens. Um, power of the might. Oh. What do we want? Built tough. Built different. 10%, 5%. I build more cities for now. Ooh, non-core manpower. Let's get Tulchinsky. That's always worth getting, because it will help us with our military factories too, but I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice, warm, and toasty. How much political power are we getting a day? 1.32, not bad. Up next, what are we going to do? 
Oh, ooh, Volley D is we comes a core. Oh, oh yes, please. Iron Flyer sounds really good for even more stuff. Mutant scavenging though. There's a lot to be found in the remnants of the old world. Just things far more advanced than we could produce. Even just a little bit of study can yield insight into how to recreate those relics. Good, good, good. Good. Actually, let's just put you all under one general. That's fine. We're going to get a few generals as well. Let's see. You guys are not very strong. Fruitcake Shades. Hello, Fruitcake. I'll probably go to Attacker. Uh, Nerd Rage would actually be very good as well. Idiot Savant's 20% is not too bad, but I want as much attack as possible, realistically. So you guys come over here. Good luck with that. Make sure we don't forget about this. Make sure we give everyone orders when they need them. And do that as well. Thank you. After Mutant Scavenging. Expanding the program. Even more construction speed, research speed, factory output. Um, I kind of want to do Iron Flyers next. Construction speed is not bad. That's not bad for industry. Behemoths of industry. Even more population would be very, 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 very good. But let's go ahead and grab some Iron Flyers. Being a, certain, being a creature as heavy as a mutant comes with a certain fear of falling, after all. When you weigh so much, you typically do more damage when you fall over. This fear goes doubly when deep in the skies. Still, some of the metal workers of the Ironmongers have made some progress in flyer development, wowing their contemporaries. Be just because I want those extra factories. We need more factories, so... Hey, look! Another tank! Beautiful! Motorized flight, just in case. Let's grab some... Uh, it's actually a little bit ahead of time. Come back over here and do some of that stuff. Very good. Not bad, we're almost done with this first one. It's only about eight months in. Not bad. So after those extra factories, what do we want? Flames of the Forge? Oh, I want that extra research slot. Yeah, we're going to beeline for that one first. Rakri infestation. A horde of feral, radiation-deranged Rakri have made burrows across our land. They are hurting our ability to fully utilize the industrial space we have available to us. And which we get more Warsport too, which is pretty good. So, more organization, more max factories in the state, construction speed, and factory output, even though... Technically, that helps us out, even though that stuff already was kind of a debuff to us, so that's fine. More factories. I love it. I hope you love it, too. Power of the Might's okay. I don't want to hurt our population, but organization is not too bad. I mean, eventually, we're going to have to get all these anyways, so... Resources are actually pretty good. Ooh. What over here? Actually, how about this one? Anything here first? Infrastructure. We'll probably build up infrastructure. Supp support equipment's not bad. Power armor? No. No. I think we'd be okay. Actually, plain stuff. We're always researching more plain stuff, so... Mm. Mm. I'm going to do that one in eventually anyways, whatever. Nice construction speed and stuff like that. So good. Must have built another civvy. Nice, not bad. Reference manuals, very good. And we'll grab secret language. And after improvised tools, can we grab that one yet? Nope, that's okay. We'll grab some seed selection. And then we'll chase them down to get a building slot. Well, let's do this one. Blow them out of their... Holes, no, bureaus, burrows. Blow them out of the burrows. Rackery, unlike other smallies, do not live on the ground. Instead, they dig holes and live inside of the dirt itself. One of our work smiths came up with a good idea. Why don't we just toss boomsticks into their holes to blow them out? Ha, ah, blowing holes. Ha, ah, what a thing to do. Oh, there goes Carthaginian gang. Not bad. Are you guys independent? No, you're not. Ah, Todd Howitzer. Uh oh. Well, the troll one are dead. I love the research. We actually have 9 army XP. Flexible designs. Um, I do not mind making these guys maybe a little bit thicker to 20 combat with first. Just because I want to make sure the divisions that we do use will be very, very good. So. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck happened here? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember this one happening. Oh, hold on. Everything's bigger in Texas, yes. I don't ever remember this happening, but, um, okay. Um, they have more, way more divisions than us, but, uh, all right. You guys should be pretty darn speedy, so I guess go to Laredo and just take everything if you can. Maybe? Uh, uh, hello. Don't mind us, militia. Oh, they mostly do have militia divisions, which is nice to see. Um, I want to say this is extremely unexpected, just because I don't think I've ever seen this happen. So if you can, just go around them. I don't think they'll mind it too much, maybe. Especially since I've surrounded these guys quite a bit. So, sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, well, let's get down battle plans, then. That'd be probably a pretty good idea. 
Oh, we got him took out ourselves, but hopefully not for long. Force the attack. Good, good, good. Help them kill themselves. Blow them out of their burrows and then chase them down. Puny little rack. We are good at hiding from our battle wagons, but their stubby legs make it hard for them to run into an open field. Um, yeah. Crystal City, not bad. Make sure they don't try to actually kill us, kill us. So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can actually break through here. I would really... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Can you move? Oh, is that it? Is that enough? Oh, it might be enough. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we... Yeah, we got him. Oh, yeah. Already we got him. Now, this is something I was not expecting in the first part of this episode, within the first 16 minutes or so. Holy crud. Now, I don't trust the Republic of the Rio Grande. Anyone smart will not trust the RRG. They can be tr somewhat trustworthy, but after we've taken out probably the lands that they want back, yeah, probably not. And we definitely don't have enough forces for this, so that's not good. Well, sometimes you just gotta go for their uh, provinces, I guess. Hopefully we have enough divisions to hold, hold the line. I don't think we do. And before we forget, we always want to make sure we actually do that. Good. Yes, I don't care about that jewel in the crown. Yes, I've seen that about a billion, zillion times. Well, this has definitely been interesting. Bob Bug Stomper, welcome, welcome. Savage Leader, go... Ooh, power armor, I don't have that. Rooted, and then Savage Leader. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty darn good, I'd say. We are... Actually, we don't, we're not out of equipment at all, either. Look at that. If that's the case, let's just go to outside battalions, just because we're going to need some more, uh, well, strength. And hopefully there are... Oh, they do have claims on this. Oh, that is... That is... Oh, they don't, that's not even a claim. That's a core state. Oh, crud. That is... Not good. Not good, if I do say so myself. Um, if that's the case, I'm going to move you over here. Get rid of that, because then I need actually one of you guys to come over here and do this one, then. Because there's two portals that they come over, which would be disastrous for us if they were actually able to do that. Well, okay, we chase them down. Um, as a neighbor, so does this, this one auto-bypass? Because we own Crystal City. We own probably Uvalde, or what is that? Um, it takes a border war. It's fully independent. It's a neighbor of the Ironmongers. Uvald, um, there's Laredo, Crystal City, Edwards Plateau, is this it? Yeah, Uvald, um, normally it's always been so difficult to get together a war party to invade into the western human lands, but recently, however, there has been some sort of change of power, perhaps this is a good time to launch a raid, I don't think, I think I have to use console commands for this one, I don't meet the requirements, but, the, uh, it's fully independent, well, they're dead. As a neighbor, but they're dead. And one of the following must be true. They own this. So technically, we've already done this. So I guess I guess I can use the console command for this. This seems... Does the TAA actually get... I don't remember if they get actual focus or, you know, a war goal against the Ironmonger. So this doesn't make any sense. But let's see. Focus dot auto complete. Focus dot no checks. I hate doing this. But I mean, I... I I think that's the only way we can do it, so let's take both of these off. And I guess we'll do this one. Who are you, who are you honey? We found some strange preserved sap inside of some jars. Our gear drops absolutely love the taste. It seems to encourage them to work faster if we feed it to them. Just because getting cores is, is incredibly important, but... And you know what? I, I said we didn't have a trade note. Now we do, but like, I don't remember the TAA literally going to war with us early on. Like, that doesn't make... Maybe that makes sense? I don't remember... <laughs> But, like, with this focus, like, I think I'm justified in doing this, right? Just because they have to exist. We, we literally just killed them off. I guess, technically, we, we could have puppeted them, but... Where's the fun of puppeting them, you know? Nice seed selection. I'll go ahead and add another one. There you go. And we shall do what? It's almost, a, it's almost not ahead of time, so local workspace is our bueno. Cool. And then, Crystal City Ammo Factory. We found an ammo factory. Sadly, the bullets here are a bit too small mostly to use with our DACAs, but there's some that fit the chamber just fine. We get 500, 900 things of infantry equipment and get Crystal City as a core. What's not the love? Great. Which actually might help us out when we go to war with Eden. Oh, wow, Unity of Austin is... What is Crusher up to? Hmm. Night can support, huh? Uh-oh. I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, get some more construction speed. And they'll get some more research speed after this, too, hopefully. 
Yeah, that's not going to be good. Especially if these guys come in at the same time. Then we're pretty much screwed. But, yeah, I think up next... Uh, ult, I think we should probably get some anti-tank. That's probably a good idea. Secret Burger, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. But the next one we'll do is... Yeah, Raccoon Killing Guns. Soft Rackery Hides are easy to pierce with the right bullet. We can shoot them from a fair distance away before they even see us. Alright, so time for another focus. Flames of the Forge. The heat of the forge is a tough thing for any mutant to stand, yet when one stands strong and withstands it, they become all the stronger for it. We get another research slot and factory output for about a year. 20% more? Wow. That's actually pretty darn strong. We're still building up some civvies and... I gotta... Okay, so one of the problems I would say about... I don't know, at the time of this recording for Overall Blues, is just because uh, sometimes when enemies have like... Uh, they're doing a focus and they get war justifications on you, um, you won't be notified sometimes, so I'm a little worried about doing just training and st stuff like that, just because you, you never know if someone might just go to war with you, so... Yeah, absolutely next, though. Get some anti-tank, because we're going to definitely need that. After Flames of the Forge. Now, do we do sh Flesh Shredding Bullets, which looks pretty good. You get more attack at the expense of organization. Should we do Heavy Duty Weapons to get less supply consumption, but less factory output, which I kind of prefer. Do Should we do Improved Shielding with get more defense, but lose organization? Or Slimmed Chassis, or Slim Chests, because I like Slim Chests. More speed, but lose organization? I will leave both of these up to you guys uh, for you to tell me in the comments below. Let me know which one we should use. Unification Wars has to be after, uh, 2278. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so now we can focus on other stuff. Behemoths of Industry would not be bad. Fabrication stuff, anti-air. Ooh, that's not too bad. Conversion speed, that's alright. Uh, fortification, but you're getting more population. Outpost construction speed. Water. We're good on resources for now. We got another resource slot to spend as well. Construction speed. I like the construction speed quite a bit. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's go and expand the scavenging program. So far, initiative towards scavenging the waste has borne fruit. We now have greater access to vehicles, both for the purpose of war making and in industry. And with the promise of dangerous weapons to be found lost amongst the rubble, more mutants are drawn away from the front and into the ruins. All right. I thought we'd only be able to get. Uh, I yeah, do this one first, and then anti tank. We only get to get three. Um. Research slots, but hey, we got four. Not bad. Not bad at all. Even though eventually I would like to convert these to APCs eventually. Like, overall, yeah, it's not good for organization. And we need to just research more things in general, but still. We'll get there eventually. Alright, up next, Brains and Brawn. That's really not bad. Just five Wargo Sims. More War Sports not bad. I don't want to do Aggressive Attacker because I don't want to lose attack. Or, I don't want to lose defense, I should say. Less damage to garrisons could be very, very good as well. I'm not really sure what we should do now. Hmm. Output would be... I mean, we need to do all these, so we might as well go with Grunk the Shark first. Just, if we're going to get him eventually anyway, since we only have three advisors there anyway, so you might as well get the civilian factory one for now. So we can just get 10% faster production stuff, which is going to take a while to do, but about a month we'll have another factory. Also, we have less factories right now because I'm trying to get more stability, so that's why. But not bad. Not bad. we got some battle plans going. Uh, field fortifications. Might as well. Might as well. Local workspaces. Let's go ahead and grab the anti-tank next. Nice. And... Uh, reclaim disused DACA for a scavenging program. While highly beneficial to us, our efforts in the wasteland have been mostly ad hoc and without any such standard or procedure. As we continue to draw prospectors and pull technological marvels out of the rubble, we should make at least some effort to organizing the Riley bands of scavengers in a meaningful way. Very good. What do we have here? Ah, yes. That industrial forever will come help us out later on. And, of course, we'll also build up more infrastructure here because it's not a campaign with Mr. Mocha Lover unless if you're not building up enough stuff here. So, War trucks are nice. They do have armor on them, which is pretty good, too. Let's see, 48. A mixture of both actually might be good, but we're going to need way more APCs, though. Way, 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 way more. Yeah, we're out of... Oh, we need fire teams, too, and APCs. Fire teams, APCs, and planes. Get more planes. We're good. We're okay on tanks for now. Get up to three. Get up to three. Clay working is not bad. And get some more of uh, this. Smoke signals. That's good. Very good. And actually, our, do we have 20 combat with infantry just in case? Um, nice. Wait, why can't we train? Oh, we're training it the max amount. That's fine. Uh, scour airfields. Pull rocks ashore. Let's grab this one. Finalize the mutant scavenging program. 
Our efforts to find knowledge and resources in the waste has given us insight into just about all of the scientific fields. It's taken us to new heights and deeper depths than anything ever before. The scavenger is a new and proud cast of super mutant society, and makes excellent time in bringing us fabled treasures from of the old world. Very good. Now, I want to know, do we get any core reduction costs before I start coring stuff? Vault City, uh, Unification War, that's nice. Uh, let's pause it real quick. Alright, so. So we have this one. Let's tab. So Austin City Labs. Yeah, of those places, you get less resistance. For those places, for this one, you get the same type of deal. It's Fort Stockton, same type of deal. Down here, Full Conquest of TWA. I mean, there, there it is. We already did that, so. And claim and wow goal for the RRG's core territories. Every Mexican state claimed by us. Destroy the daddy dro boys? No, daddy boys. Ooh, droidy boys. Okay, so we don't get any free cores, except for the ones we already have. So, actually, space is the same thing. Or does... Space goes backwards, huh? That's weird. Oh, no, it's just up here, so. Okay, interesting, interesting. So we don't get any free cores. We already got the free cores already, so. We'll, we'll have to manually core uh, TAA, which is fine. You know, whatever. It costs 300, but we're already in a pretty good position, I'd say, right now. If that's the case, Fort Stockton, huh? Shell's army. Let's see. Hmm, someone opened my door, but there's no one at my door. What the heck is going on? But after this, we'll probably read maybe a new focus, maybe? Yeah, we probably will. Yeah, my apologies. My door opened up for some, for no reason. This is weird. Anyways, uh, let's see. After that one, hawkish specialization for more research speed and production efficiency cap versus special uh, civilian specialization. You know what? Screw it. You guys, let me let me know on this one too. Hawkish specialization or civilian specialization? Let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime. I'm going to go ahead and do Mutant Industry. One of the first and foremost aspects of a modern state, especially in the wasteland, is the ability to organize a cohesive and directed industrial effort. Being a nation of a giant green people does nothing to change this fact. Oh, look at that Mutant Industry. Dum-dums? I love the dum-dums. Over here, Scavenger, Output, Built, Forward, Tough. Mm, I mean, don't get me wrong, I want more Output, so... Power hungry. I don't want to lose her uh, our population, but oh yeah, let's go get built for tough person. Oh, oh, we didn't finish that one. Whoops, my bad. Well, grab some basic tools then. Oh, and I knew they would come for us eventually. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Do do we have our holes covered? It looks like, for the most part, yes, but we might need a few more divisions. And if we have to, we can always deploy uh, some forces early. Oh, that's good to grab. Good, 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 good. Probably need to get some doggos, too. Actually, get some maintenance companies. That would be very, very helpful. Mm, I don't want to do this yet, but we're going to need that. And Actually, we need more of this, huh? That's very strange. Mutant industry is good. Let's go ahead and grab some... More of that in infrastructure, I like that. But let's grab an arms workshop. The red ones go faster. It would be negligent to not consider our capability for assembling and housing aircraft of all kinds. The paving of airfield and construction of hangars coupled with the christening of new military factories will help us cover our aer aerial bases. Oh, well, we got nine divisions up here. Why is there so many up here not any down there? Oh, they actually have power armor. Um, yeah, we got to double up on production here. We don't need more military factories, but we have already 15 out of 15. Not bad. There goes Vault City. Goodbye. And ultimatum deadline. Oh, that's not good. I don't care about that for now. Yeah, we could definitely use more tanks. Mm. We have five down here. Going to move one more up here, probably. Just in case, you know, just in case. Oh, there's a jewel. I know we get a met. Oh, technically, we don't want to do that since... <clears throat> Tlalo Khan has a non-aggression pact. So wait, hold on. If they go to war with us, do we have to fight Tlalo Khan or do, will he nuke us? Because I'm like, I don't want to go to war with him. He's going to war with me. So what does that do? But mutant workshops. Super mutant factory workers have a unique set of needs and strengths. The construction of civilian industries in which these people can produce both new buildings and consumer goods, which will create a solid steel backbone for which our industry can rest upon. Good. So these guys are 20 combat with. We're going to wait until we get about 
10 army XP to start throwing some anti-tank. Probably on our normal super mutant infantry first. Smoke signals are good. There goes Warden and the Hangdoggerinos. Get some decryption. That'd be very, very nice. And anything else. I would love to start coring some of those places, but it's going to cost so much. Well, that's not too bad, actually. 182. But really, the TWA estate is the best one to core, just because you get more... You can actually core this one, too, later on. And has four factories versus one factory, so... I might save our PP for that first. Actually, how's the compliance going? That's going great! It's going really great! Everyone's compliant. Mutant workshops, love it! Mutant sized tools, yes, get more consumer goods. Tools built for regular people have a tendency to break and become unwieldy mutant hands. Oh, I guess it depends on who you call regular, normal people. With a bit of design work and standardization across our factories, we'll equip our for our workers with tools they can depend on and use to build a better future. Nice. 18,000, are we still mobilizing? No, we are not. Followers of the apocalypse, um, you know what? As much as I want them here, nah. Get out of our lands. Raid their supplies, good. Raid them. Seize them. Oh, look at that. Seize a follower's fort. When removed, the TWA Estate Province gets one outpost and civilian workshop. Get out of here. Divert the supplies. We lose stability for bonus. And we lose some political power. I don't think that's really worth that one. Get some of that. That'd be good. Come on. Come on, Republic of the Rio Grande. Bring it on. Field fortifications. We'll probably do coordinated assault next. That'd be good. Getting more breaks is usually pretty good to do. Twin Mothers, come on, RRG, come fight us. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Slashing melee. We could probably grab some of that, but anything else here first? Uh, no. I'll grab some seed selection. Any better plants? Grab some better plants since we're all technically already using planes, so. H to hold. And how about you train? Why not? Mutant sized tools. And mutant arms factories. Old world assembly lines aren't really fit to construct weapons of the proper size and scope for a super mutant. This shortcoming means that we should shore up our own military industry with new firearms factories that can keep pace with the needs of an FEV improved army. Nice. Alright, so we came to these boys and said, hey, we need to give you some anti tank. They'd be like, well, you don't have enough army XP to do that, which doesn't make any sense if you think about it, but whatever. 22 piercing's not bad. We're already at 9. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just slowly, slowly, slowly. What happens if we want to appear weak? Will they be able to beat us? Maybe. Come on. Keep training, 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 training. Uh, I could core this one first, but basic tools are nice. That's good. Get some plant cultivation, too. TWA. That's going to take so long to get to. But getting the core defense on that would be really good. Even though getting core defense on this tile, too, for Laredo would be actually super important as well. Uh, it's barely ahead of time. But let's go ahead and grab... 63 days is not bad. That's not bad. Clear sky construction. We can build all the factories, roads, and docks we want, but even a single bomb can knock out a workshop for days, if not weeks. A blanket of anti air guns will ensure that enemy pilots have a hard time damaging industrial targets, even if they maintain air superiority. Very good. Construction's coming along very swimmingly. Alright, we're gonna need way more of this stuff, and way more of that stuff, and way more of everything else. Oh boy. Yeah, we have some APCs. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Seriously, I want to go to war with them since they have a war goal against us because I. Uh, oh, raid their supplies. Go ahead and do that again. Uh, oh, we can do that too. That's not bad. I want to get more stability as well. Are they actually going to establish themselves? That. See the followers' fort? I mean, what? Are they really going to stay here? Let's see. Well then, even after raiding their supplies and stuff, they still want to stay here. That is very unusual. That kind of sucks. Oh, well, we tried. Oh well, not a drop to drink. Hey, let's get more population fortification battalions. We're organizing groups of able-bodied mutants into fortification battalions. Will allow us to fast track the construction of outposts along our more troublesome borders. With the added bonus that be being that these souls can be conscripted into general service. Not bad. Not bad. Guys, go to war with us. Oh wait. Oh, look at that. Hangdogs won. Usually, at least in my campaign, I thought they usually lost, but hey, not bad. Seriously, guys, go to war with us. Please, 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 please. 
I ask and we shall receive. Probably a bad time to train, but whatever. All right, if that's the case, go and throw these bad boys on. Do we have enough? No, we don't. Oh, well. And if that's the case, come on over here and boom, 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 boom. Actually, do we have any other closer air bases? I'll probably just give it to you guys. That'll be fine. Oh, that's not good. 11. Um, that's not very good. Why did you avoid why did you avoid this one? <laughs> oh, it's funny. Funny guys. Alright, we can't well we can sort of pierce each other, but not too badly. Drop plane attackers would be nice. Actually, just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Yeah, I I, I don't care. I just do not know when Santa Ana's gonna attack. I wanna be ready for him, so. Plant cultivation is good though. And let us do public projects. And get some more research speed out of this as well. Cool, and actually, let's get a bonus to our defense because war support attack and defense of core territory it's not much 3.7 percent but i'd still rather take it and get some more factories more more slots unlocked we just lost 2,000 manpower okay whatever i didn't see that totally not research speed vacuum tubes not bad they're not attacking down here though oh might want to keep an eye on this one too maybe they're still attacking over there uh doing upgrades yet that's okay. Nope. And we shall do mutant mining operations. Mutants have an excellent physique for mining. A strong backed fall can carry a ton of weight without even breaking a sweat. With even minimal effort, we could track or crack the Texas soil open and begin to plunder its mineral riches for ourselves. Oh, yes, please. And we don't have enough anti tank yet. That's all right. Fire teams are looking pretty bad, too. We do need some more infantry equipment, but once we take these guys out, we should do okay. Free fighters. Um. Oh, they have volunteers. Okay. How much manpower do they have? They have probably, yeah, quite a good amount of manpower, so that's good. Well, at least hopefully we'll take these guys out before they can do too much damage to us. And before Santa Ana comes knocking. Because if Santa Ana comes knocking while we're at war, well, that's really bad then. Oh, God. They're doing Northern Rivals. Open minded approach? Well, maybe they'll do that one. Let's see. What, hopefully, he does Hardline approach. Pressure the board is seizing Armageddon. Oh, yeah. Tense tension, tensions? Oh, boy. Oh, we'll see what happens. Uh oh, I need to keep an eye on this. Oh, we barely won. Mutant minings? All's well that ends well. Irradiated water coming from either the Gulf or its tributaries generally isn't safe to drink, but water dug out from hundreds of years of old aquifers is almost entirely cured of its radioactive kiss. Though normal mutants generally don't mind a bit of spicy water, the purpose is for managing hummies and trading. It's better to start digging out the clean stuff. The, oh, the hummies. Actually, we take like, the sluggas. And edge of there, too. That might be okay as well. Just in case. And we do have a little bit of air XP, which is nice. Uh, do that one. That's fine. Whatever. Investments falling through. Cut our losses. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. We have, we've we only killed off 1,600, which kind of sucks. I wish we could kill off more, but whatever. Are we still training? No, we're not. That's good. Ah, uh, good. I did want to bait these guys into attacking us as well, which is very, 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 very nice. Ah, uh, I love it. For now. At the same time, so they're done with this. Because I want to just ha make sure we have an army down south. Ready for Santa Ana. Just, I, I'm worried. I'm worried. I might be a little, you know, irrational about thinking about it, but just a little worried. Well, since they're here, you might as well use them, right? If they're here, you might as well use them and abuse them, right? All right. Gene Stonewall. Yeah, I guess we'll do that one then. And actually, this army is just going to be a mishmash of all the units until we actually are done with this war. So, because then we'll have another, actually not a bigger border, but slightly more of a border against those guys. Uh, green energy? Why not? Electricity is an important resource to ensure more people can have their homes and workplaces powered. We should commission the construction of wind farms and refurbish old fusion generators. It's no Hoover Dam, but it'll keep the lights on and the toaster working. We'll leave the light on for you. You guys can go in and train. You know what? Screw it. Just like I said, throw everyone into here. Because we should have enough divisions against the Republic of the Rio Grande to help out, so. Send them all that way. And District Fur is gone. Got coordinated assaults. Uh, trooper Warfare would not be bad. I do want those radios, though. At that point, you might as well go for mobile fortifications as well, so. We're going to go Trooper Warfare, and then we're going to du double back. And go to the other side, so. I think we'll be okay for now. Begin a scavenging program, we might as well. What else are we making here? Good, 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 good. Anything else down south? No, nope, that's good. I do want to do some more stability. Oh, but more war support. That's sometimes pretty hard to get. 
Promise of loot. I don't mind doing that one. Looking pretty good. 3,000 only so far, but, you know. I think they're probably going to run out of equipment before manpower. So, not bad, not bad. And they've got their 30 divisions. They have not a lot of stuff left. Especially power armor. And so you got to clear war on them. So that's looking pretty good. Up to 666. Ah, the RRG. Oh, we have four uh, divisions in the army getting sent to Anna so far. Not bad. Green energy. Electronic manufacturing. Unlike electricity, water, metal. Electronics are not the kind of resource that can be drawn from the land itself. Producing even simple electronic circuits and components requires specialized factories that are suited to small-scale manufacturing. Recent plans draw up just such plans of such a set of facilities. I read that completely incorrectly. My apologies. Oh my goodness, that was not very good. Ah, able to feared one. Evan Assault, let's go with that one. And we'll probably go with Nerd Rage. Just so when we're moving, we'll be okay. Uh, Bob Bug. Anything here for you? Savagery? That'd be good. Especially when breaking over the river. That'd be important. Um, fruitcake? Anything else? Actually, yeah. That's not bad. Fruitcake? Nerd Rage. We did Abel. How about Jean? You're not actually fighting anybody yet. That's fine. And I know I'm ignoring um, robots. Not robots. I am ignoring robots, but vehicles. Anything else here? Can we do this stuff yet? No. Everything's ahead of time, so that's kind of okay for now that we're ignoring it. Uh, primitive Radio. Focus fire will be super, super important. Get some warrior training next. That'd probably be pretty good to do. Great. We've only killed off 5,000 of them. 50, 5,100. We have five divisions over there too. Not bad. We need a few more tanks, more anti-tanks, more fire teams. That's looking pretty good. Power armor. We're not going to be using power armor, and I don't feel like seeing that, so... Spec Ops, nah, I don't feel like it's for the campaign either. And a behemoth of industry. We finally achieved a modern and buried economy between extraction and the production of both civ civilian and war materials. Any w rival wasteland stand should st should find themselves both green and with envy, not as green as us. And in favor of capability for even more population, max factories in the state, and resource efficiency gain plus 10%. Well, it's not the law. And if we can capture Gloria, well, that's pretty good for us then. Just because, uh, another trade node's always nice to have, right? Seven divisions now. Look, 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 look. If that's the case, we need more guns, which we're, we're doing okay on. We'll get some more anti-tank. We'll get some more plants. We'll get some more of this as well. I wonder if we're strong enough just to attack at this point. Probably not in some areas. Some places, yes. Some places, no. We could try it. You know, we'll try it. Why not? Actually, I'll help you guys come over here then. Help us bust through here. Um, not looking great. Oh, but you guys, did I not give you orders? I thought I did. Let them all struggle up north. Uh, you know what, screw it, don't. Don't worry about that. Just hold for now. I'm pretty sure I said hold. Nice, nice. Sometimes you win them, sometimes you don't. But once we break through the south, I think we might have even killed a division down there. Oh, it won't be too bad, but not a drop to drink. Though access to the coast brings us ample access to water, almost none of it is fit for drinking. However, with the construction of naval dockyards and ports, we can maintain a standing fleet. Not bad. Now, you guys should be able to break through here pretty darn okay. Like, force the attack, so you can actually destroy that infantry, and then focus on the power armor. Destroy enough of them, so then they don't have enough, so you can pierce them, so that'll be good. Oh, now they're attacking us again. That's fine. Good. Now we're slowly busting over here. Good. Good, 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 good. And now go ahead. Now go ahead. We're building the wasteland. Now we're going to be spreading out like crazy. Good. That, which means I have to divert divisions or just get all the lands taken out. Maybe some oversight is needed. That's good. Up about in Gloria. So they cannot move as we flood south. Flood, 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 flood. Red flood. Uh, I don't think... Actually, it's probably more like a green flood. They've upped their 26 divisions. We have more divisions than them. They've lost 7,000 manpower. They're actually losing here. Not bad. Ah, so Doc, let's just go and grab some convoys for now. And... We've all that stuff. Let's do study of construction vehicles. One of the few things that made construction and manufacturing so advanced in this the past was the advent of specialized industrial vehicles. By trying to reverse engineer them, we can come closer to assembling our own metallic beasts of burden. Very nice. Repair defenses. 
Uh, let's go and grab some anti-armor tactics. Nice. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, just move on in. Go, go, go. Good job, guys. Good job. Keep flooding in. Taking everything. Oh, we actually broke over the river. Look at that. Nice, 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 nice. Help them out so you can break over here, too. Fruitcake shades. Anything else? No, 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 not too much. Down here is looking pretty good, though. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Able? No, nothing here either. Skill level 4, not bad. They should really be out of it completely. They should, yeah, be completely out of equipment. Come on, link up. Good, good, good. Are they doing... They've got to be doing, like, last stand or something here. They have to be, like, bruh. That's been insane, man. Come down here. If you can encircle these guys, that'd be really good. Study that, not bad. And then we'll do study specialized equipment. The wasteland is filled with hundreds of specialized pieces of equipment that uh, hint at the intricacies of warfare before the bombs. While there isn't enough of any one type to supply an army's worth of specialists, there's enough to study and refurbish into general support equipment. Very good. This is giving our guys a ton of experience, which I love, 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 love. And go and do simple circuitry ahead of time. That's fine. Primitive radio. And get metalworking next. Good, we actually broke over in most areas already. Nice. Not not quite over there, but that's okay. That's okay. Well, they wanted to go to war with us, and we got them. Look at that, Glory Falls. It, it took us a while, but... Not bad. We're looking pretty good. Alright, so you battle wagons, head on over there. Um, I'm going to keep that... Uh, yeah, I'll keep that army like this. Uh, just because you guys are going to stack up there, probably. I'm not sure how this is going to work out for us, so we'll see. You guys go down there. And then one, two, three, stack up down here. And actually, give me another three. One, two, three. Stack up right there. That should be good enough for defense. So this way we have an extra army just in case, especially for Eden. So we'll see what happens, but I think we'll end the episode there. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end up going to war with Santa Ana. And having a good time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.